students in last video we learned depreciation method in this video we are going to learn provision for depreciation method in provision for depreciation method the depreciation transferred to the provision for depreciation account not to the fixed asset account hence the fixed asset appears in the balance sheet at its original cost and the provision for depreciation appears in the liability side under the heading of current liability and provision and the as usual the depreciation transfer to the profit and loss account now look at the problem on 11-2005 a plant was purchased for rupees 2 lakh write off depreciation at 10% per annum on straight line method on 30th june 2007 the plant was sold off for rupees 1 lakh 25000 assume the company accounts closed on 31st december of every year prepare plant account and provision for depreciation account it is also called accumulated depreciation account it is also called accumulated depreciation account it is also called accumulated depreciation account now we should do workings we should do working when it was purchased on 11 2005 when it was sold on 36 2007 Every year closed on 31st December. First year closed on 31st December 2005. Second year closed on 31st December 2006. Third year supposed to close on 31st December. But earlier we sold on 30th June. So we have to close accounts up to 30th June. So first year, second year, third year. So in first year we used 12 months because January to December. Second year, January to December year also we used 12 month but in third year january to june we used only six month 1 1 2005 we bought for 2 lakh rupees first year ends on 31st december 2005 on 2 lakh we should provide 10 percent depreciation 20,000. since we used 12 month provide full year depreciation then second year ends on 31st December 2006. Again, we have to provide on original cost. It is a straight line method. 20,000. Book value at the end of second year is 1,60,000. So third year ends on 30th June 2007. On 2 lakh, 10% depreciation we supposed to provide for 6 month. So 10,000 rupees. After uh, used two, two and a half years, the book value of the asset is 1,50,000. Book value of the asset, 1,50,000. Sold for, sold price, sold price, 1,25,000. Here, book value is more than the sold price, so 25,000 is the loss. Now I am going to prepare two ledger, namely plant account and provision for depreciation account. First, on 1st January 2005, we bought plant. On 1-1-2005, we bought plant to bank. Its value 2 lakh. On 31st December 2005, we have to provide for depreciation. The depreciation should not be transferred to the fixed asset account. It should be transferred to the provision for depreciation account. So provision for depreciation account credit side by depreciation. For this entry is depreciation account data to provision for depreciation value 20,000. So first year we have two transactions. One is plant purchased, another one is depreciation. So plant purchased debited to the plant account, depreciation credited to the provision for depreciation account. We have to balance it. Plant account should be balanced. Plant account should be balanced. Likewise, we have to balance the provision for depreciation account. Mm -hmm. 
then second year on 31st december 2006 we have to provide depreciation so depreciation should be credited to the provision for depreciation account by depreciation second year depreciation also 20000 to balance cd 31122006112007 it balance by balance pd 40000 so provision for depreciation we prepared two years likewise we have to prepare plant account plant account also we should close second year plant account by balance cd to balance bd value 2 lakh then the third year on 36 2007 we have to provide depreciation 10000 the depreciation should be credited to the provision for depreciation account by depreciation its value third year depreciation value 10000 here the plant was sold so on that uh, sold date the total provision for uh, depreciation should be transferred to the fixed asset account plant account transfer date 36 2007 it will go to the plant account credit side by provision for depreciation account it appears as provision for depreciation account total depreciation 50000 then on the same date we sold by bank sold for 125000 then loss incurred 25000 by profit and loss account its value 25000 because we sold the plant account should agree students in provision for depreciation method the depreciation transferred to the provision for depreciation account not to the fixed asset account ends the fixed asset appeared in the asset side at its original cost and the provision for depreciation account goes to the liability side under the current liability and provision heading as usual the depreciation transfer to the profit and loss account in case of depreciation method we will record entry like this depreciation account data to fixed asset instead of fixed asset we have to record provision for depreciation then the transfer entry remains same profit and loss account data to depreciation then if we sell any asset the sold asset provision for depreciation should be transferred to the plant account for that we have to record one entry called provision for depreciation account data to fixed asset student we learned provision for depreciation method in next class we will solve different problem till then bye and thank you